What is up guys, Nick here today and welcome to the 18th episode of the Well Unballed Pure Iron Man series. We are picking right back up at Corrupted Gauntlet where we left off last episode. We had 50 kill count. I had never done Gauntlet before in the game ever. I'd completed Song of the Elves on this account for the only account that I've ever done it on. And so it's been a pretty steep learning curve. I never really watched Gauntlet content prior to attempting it. So I feel like I finally kind of understand it and we make a lot of progress in this one. Uh, we are also going to be doing a lot of Zora. We are 860 something kills and we still have yet to see that Tanzanite Fang. So as we approach getting closer to raids, these are two bosses that I'm just going to sesh out until we get what we need. So we're going to be here for this whole episode. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, join the Discord. I'll leave a link down in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter if you like account updates as they happen instead of waiting for the videos. Dude, I should have been dead for sure. I have three prayer points. Wow. Yeah, did not deserve that kill. The five minute hunt lift. That was terrible. Another crystal weapon seed. Okay. Alright. Well, this is no bueno. We're about to be out of prayer. Please kill it right here. No, I'm just going to have to tick eat these. Oh my god, come on. Tick eat it. <sighs> That's so dumb. <laughs> should have made a, uh, should have prayer flicked a little bit in the beginning, but whatever. Alright, crystal armor seed. Damn, uh, that is like, I don't know, just a couple after our crystal weapon seed we just got. Dude, another armor seed? What? That's three and less than 100 kills. Oh my god. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, it doesn't... I mean, it really doesn't do anything for me, but it's pretty cool to kind of see these things stack up. All right, this one will be 100 kills at the Corrupted Gauntlet. We sesh this out, like, really quick. I just started doing it earlier this week, and I've just been kind of grinding like nobody's business. So, uh, yeah, let's go pull out all the loot here. That way you guys can kind of see what to expect for 100 kills, and what we got for 100 kills. Well, same place, different time. Figured I would show the loot from 100 Corrupted Gauntlet kills. We ended up getting 2.6 mil cash total. We have three Crystal Armor Seeds. <clears throat> Sorry about that, just woke up. Three Weapon Seeds, so it's over 33 mil basically, and the rest of it all added together is about 45 mil, give or take. So, ton of the Uncuts. We have a bunch of Alkables. Three crystal armor seeds. Obviously, we'll never be using crystal armor on here. Um, so, I'll probably break them down for shards at some point. And the three crystal weapon seeds. So, kind of where we're sitting at. Not too bad. <laughs> okay, that's our fourth crystal armor seed. Jesus Christ, we're, uh, I mean, I guess that's, no, we're way above drop rate for sure. It's like 1 in 50, I think, and we're at like 112 kills. Oh, bro, bro, what was that? Come on, dude. You have to have me so effed. Why did he dance with me and put me on the fucking tile? I figured we might as well knock this out. I have a bunch of Addy bars in the bank at the moment. We have enough for 90 smithing. We are getting closer and closer to 90 base stats, and we are currently 1900 total level. God, that just looks so clean. So it should be 150 kills now at CGs. This stuff takes so long ugh, to get kill count for. You can at best get like 6 kills an hour on a pure doing T2 prep. So, yeah, we're getting there. Yo, shout out to Never Go Max for calling out this crystal impling. Uh, okay, there we go. I was, like, ready for this thing to despawn. Five rune skim, so that'll out pretty good. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, we just got 97 mage. What the hell? That's so random. 
Um, yeah, 97 magic. We are getting up there. We are still 79 combat, pretty close to 80. Another 100 kills. We are now going to be at 900 kill count at Zolra. Still looking for that Tanzanite Fang. I honestly think we're going to hit that 1k mark, man. Uh, I'll put the loot on the screen. It's adding up, which is cool, but we're just looking for that blue fang. Dude, oh my god, finally, let's go, Tanzanite Fang, man, let's get it, oh, that took so long, 986 kills for the blowpipe, holy lord, <laughs> oh my god, about freaking time, just, I don't even know what to say, I flipped on HD, because obviously nothing else is working, so HD is just, uh, it's just the play, I'm pretty sure I got the first magic fang with hd2 so you know if you're just going dry just flick that shit on real quick oh that's so nice tanzanite fang done we can make the blowpipe now we already have 92 mining for amethyst darts so we have the best darts that we can use besides dragon but i don't even know if there's really much of a difference let's get it man so naturally we gotta come by do 14 more kills and get the clean 1000 kc at zora uh it's it, God, it just feels so good to not have to come back here. I have scales for forever. Once I get the 1000 KC mark, I'll put up the screenshot of the loot like I have this whole way along this grind. I knew that we'd go dry somewhere. This is not one of the places I really wanted to go dry, but maybe this is the turning point to our RNG now, and it's just going to like open the fuck up from here. Let's go. 108 mil, 1000 kills. Let's go. Right, this should be our PB, man. This was a really fast kill. Uh, sorry if you can hear the music, by the way. Anybody who ever listened to Coulter Wall, I don't know. I just got, like, my Western Canada fix going right now. I'm not even from Western Canada. 158 kills, new PB. Uh, yeah, let's not go dry here. <laughs> Do I die with 11 HP left? No! Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna fucking die for sure. I told you, dude. 5 HP. I'm not gonna lie. I had a quick little rage quit out of CGs for a little bit. Um, and decided to AFK mahogany logs for a couple days. That is 10,000 mahogany logs. My god. Alright, well, I came out of that rage quit, and we now have 200 kill count at CGs. Just did it all in one go over the last couple hours or so, and, uh, anything good? No. Let's go pull out all the loot for 200 kills. So this is the loot that I've gotten from 200 kills at the Corrupted Gauntlet. We are at a nice 4 mil cash stack. We have 1.4k crystal shards and a total of 74 mil. Like, my god. One of the reasons why I decided to start AFK cutting mahogany logs is because we're going to have so much money by the end of this that I'm going to actually be able to do at least 90 construction easily. Like, it's not even going to be a question if I can make all the planks and fund all the cash. This place just shits out money. My god. Uh, looking at all the uncuts... They're pretty solid too. They're going to add up for a lot of crafting experience. That'll get us up to 90 crafting for sure whenever we get around to that. But just the alchemicals alone and obviously the battle staves, I'll have to go and make air orbs for them. But pretty sick. The stats are looking nice. 1907 total now. I feel like we got 1900 this video. Yeah, we totally did. Damn, I don't know where all those levels came from. Whew, that was pretty close. Dude, another crystal armor seed. All right. That is number five in 200. I think that was 210 kills or 211 or something like that. I don't even know. But another crystal armor seed. Dude, they've gone up like th almost four mil since the start of this video. What the hell?
Dude, no way. No fucking way. We just got the enhanced crystal weapon seed, bro. Oh my god, there's no way. Dude, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, then there's only one person in the clan. Dude, it is our secret fury. <laughs> oh my god. We literally just did that the day after getting the blowpipe. Oh, dude. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. Alright, so I'm going to corrupt this. I made the Blade of Saldor. And I did this because this is going to be our best in slot melee weapon for a long ass time. Until we get a rapier from TOB, basically. So, I have the blowpipe already. I have amethyst arrows. Its DPS is higher at the majority of places than the Bofa. Let me know if you guys think I made the right decision in the comments down below. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Alright guys, I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. We can't top it off any better than that. I mean, in the last two days, we ended up getting the blowpipe finally at 986 kill count. And we just got the blade of Saldor at 225 kill count with Corrupted Gauntlet. I sure as hell thought I was going to go dry there. That is not the correct amount of Cosmic Runes. I just realized I drew out the same amount of Nats. Whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are just about to dive neck deep into some really sick content. We are a few drops away from being completely raids ready. Thank you all so, so much for the support. Like the video if you didn't already. Subscribe if you're new. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let's jam out the Forlorn Homestead as per usual. I'll catch you guys shortly with the next episode. Stay safe, boys.